Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we've got a video, one of two sponsored videos from Autos Video Games and More. We're looking forward to this. I've been preparing for this, and uh, and I think the approach that we're going to take on these models, it's it's going to be a black and white approach, and we're going to use the airbrush in a zenithal manner to to come up with this this result so instead of just painting the gray and painting the white and, and blending the colors I'm gonna try and blend it all first with the airbrush and then go in with the brush and maybe you know spot touch up things and, and, and that's gonna be interesting so and, and and this is maybe this is gonna be kinda of based on how I do the rest of the zombies because there are a ton of zombies in, in this game that you, you would take forever to paint so black and white and grayscale is gonna make this this really quick there is also Another set of models off to the side from the remake or or the the new version or basically I keep looking on the right over there here let's take a look so these guys are all a little different each one of them got guns their stats are a little higher on their cards so and, and those will be painted more of if you look in the the rule book here you can see kind of they're here they're kind of these 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 faded colors rather than the black and white black and white grayscale that they would have for instance like right here so those are going to be painted next week in a different version along with all the zombies so stay stay tuned for that looking forward to that anyway guys please like and subscribe it really helps support the channel let's get in there and knock these guys out Alright, Night of the Living Dead with Zombicide, the black and white movie. Man, this, this is going to be fun. I, I've been looking forward to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Barbara and then I'm going to use the airbrush to do these models in black and white. So it's almost going to be like a continual zenithal, right, in the beginning with some grays all the way out to almost white right and then we'll move in with the brush to finish things off so let's start off and as, as I go through this video I'm going to it's gonna be a mixture of all of these being done and then I will get a collective picture at the end so uh, uh, let's do it I'll see you guys in there first up in the airbrush is dark neutral gray and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put this couple drops with a little bit of uh, a paint thinner airbrush paint thinner and uh, good to go Alright, let's do it. Just to be clear, I, I did put a zenith, or not a zenithal, just a black primer on these, and I'm going to do zenithal with this next step. I'm just going to spray it over the top pretty, pretty healthily, and then I'm going to lighten it up and go out from there. Okay, let's do it. Just had to clarify that. Next, we have dark neutral gray mixed with neutral gray. I did uh, three drops to three drops, so it's about 50-50, I would say. And uh, let's go from there. Alright, 
We've got three different shades of gray down on here for using the Zenithal, just spraying over the top. We started with dark neutral gray, and then, well, we started with black, and then we started with dark neutral gray. Gray, I mixed regular neutral gray, and I also, at the end, I did bright neutral gray, and we got these, these, these tones. Real quick, real simple, all right? And now what I will do is I will start working on probably the skin. I'm going to get the airbrush and I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure, uh, bright ivory or just straight bright neutral gray. Haven't decided yet. Uh, actually, I have decided. I'm going to go with bright neutral gray first and I'm going to do a mixture of that. And I'm going to spot spray on the highest areas that I can, being very, very careful. All right, let's do it. start with Barbara here um, what we did is we started again let's let's finish let's let's look at the process we did black primer we did a zenithal with a dark neutral gray and then we did a mixture of neutral gray and then we did a mixture of bright neutral gray and then we sprayed just bright neutral gray so that's where we are right now and I spot sprayed the the, the skin spot sprayed the skin on all the models you can see now as it is kind of pops now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some white ink and I'm gonna hit just the wider areas like just the elbow just the face just the hand maybe a couple little key spots and that's about it and then we will move in with the wash all right take that back I'm gonna use uh, bright ivory instead of the white ink and I'm gonna thin this down with uh, paint thinner uh, real real thin maybe maybe man two drops to one of these that that's a that's pretty thinned out and I'm just gonna spot spray again in the higher areas all right gone all the way out to bright whoops gone all the way out to bright ivory now I'm going to go with just white and then we're gonna go in with a black wash give it a wash and do, do some touch-ups maybe a couple little dry brush areas uh, on the hair maybe and, and that's about it these guys will be done we'll paint those bases black and these guys are good to go. So we are getting really close. This is a real simple process. It's all been airbrushed so far. I've just mixed my colors from black all the way out to bright ivory. And here we are. Not bad. And uh, again, I'll do a spot spray with white ink uh, probably at the end after I do a wash. All right, let's do that. Hey, guys. Hey, I just want to let you know, go check out Otto's Video Games and More. Great store. He's got everything you need from Warhammer to 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 Zombicide to Legion to Armada to 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 all of them. He's got all of them. He's got the new Crisis Protocol. He's got Magic. He's got video games. Go check them out. Really great store. Tell him I sent you. I think I'm gonna add uh, an extra step in here. Ultra varnish mat. I'm gonna spray these. Uh, just a quick hit with the with the airbrush. Just because when I put the wash on there, I don't want any of that paint work that I've done white and to smear and I just I, I'd rather things to stay crisp and this right here will, will guarantee that that's going to happen because it's going to create a surface for me and leave that paint job protected all right so let's go ahead and do that real quick <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do some uh, black Citadel wash, really watered down, and, and see what this looks like here real quick. Yeah, that's real nice. Very subtle. 
that's gonna work. See, just turn it all that black and white. That's really nice. All right. So we will do this all the way around very carefully. Not going too much here. I was kind of I was doing these. I was putting the wash on her right now, and, and also I was putting them on uh, Harry here. Um, I, I think I may go back before and do the spot spray with the white ink, just before I do the wash, because I don't want to cover any of that wash work that I'm going to do. And these get these, these going to be real, real, real light. So I think I'm going to get the airbrush and do the white ink and make my whites pop now and then I can touch them up with the brush. It's gonna make it a little easier and I won't damage the wash work I've already done or I would have done. So, yeah, all right, so white ink, then we're gonna wash them. Okay, so I've done all the wash, all the white work's done. Now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of rubber and just kind of touch up some things to give it a little bit of a color break. Right, and I'll do some rubber highlight. Just because I really want it to stand out. I want it to be right. There we go. Real quick, real simple, right? that edge too. All right. I was thinking about even grabbing that tie. Okay, we got all of the colors down, all of the wash, and I used rubber on like the pipes and some of the weapons, rubber and rubber highlight. Did that real quick. You can see them. I did his shirt a little bit of rubber, and I did a little bit of rubber highlight just to give it a little different color. And also, whoops, back up. Here we did her. I did her trial and her purse in rubber and rubber highlight, which are gray. And then uh, I forgot this guy's name. What's his name? Ben. Ben here. He, I did the lead pipe or the tire iron and uh, rubber, his shoes and rubber. And I did his his face in a little bit of light watered down rubber as well, just to give it a, you know, a different skin tone. And also here, she didn't have any on her. Maybe I should go back and do the blade. I don't think so. I think we're okay. She's black and white. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with just pure white and I'm gonna touch up just some key areas just to make the model pop. Okay, let's do it.
Well, there you have it, guys. Night of the Living Dead Zombicide, the, the 1968 black and white version characters. Man, that, that was really fun. I've never painted anything just black and white. I've painted things black and white, but I've never paint, painted the whole grayscale black and white. That, that's really fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, they, they, they turned out terrific. I painted them like the movie, and, and the box art is really gray, really pastel grays. It, it worked out terrific. They turned out great. Um, next week, uh, we've got the color version. They, they, they made the movie and they colorized it and they were real pastel, real bad colors. Well, those are the colors we're going to paint the, the other six models. They have the black and white version and they have the color version, which are the color version are a little, little more uh, souped up in, in the abilities. They're a little more, a little more badass. But uh, anyway, and also we're going to speed paint the rest of the zombies. I think there's like 30 or 40 zombies. We'll speed paint dry brush. Maybe we can use the airbrush. Not sure yet. But uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And I'll catch you next week.